Here's some advice when it comes to negotiations for both buyers and sellers. As I'm sure you're aware, in the last few years, all the negotiations really favored the sellers, just not price, but all the other terms, deposit, inspections, let's say appraisals, you name it. The seller could call the shots and the buyers had to go along with it, but that's no longer the case. So here's my word of caution to both sides. Make sure that as you're negotiating, try not to do anything to really burn that bridge between you and the other party. During this negotiation process, the emotions are really running high and it's a spectrum of emotions. It can be fear, anxiety, fear of the unknown, um, excitement, elation. There's all these things happening all at once and you don't know what the other side is experiencing. So sometimes during that negotiation process, things just don't come together always and both parties walk away. But if you don't burn that bridge, and I'll often say to the other side, hey, if things change, give me a call. Um, It could be hours later, it could be days, it could be a week or two down the road, and the other side's gonna call and say, hey, let's talk again, maybe we can pull this together. Let the other side calm down a little bit, and it might happen. So that's a good thing. Yep, you wanna negotiate in your favor, but do it in a way where you're not burning that bridge, you're not really torquing off the other side.